Hello, this is Dovey and welcome to part four of Let's Play Undertale Pacifist Run. So now what we have to do is we have to do a little bit of backtracking. Uh, backtracking, what's this? Okay, okay, okay. I was thirsty, so I came over from the waterfall to get a drink. Got water returned. <laughs> so we have to backtrack now to uh, back to waterfall. Welcome to Hotland. I gotta say, what an awesome little game. I like it. What's this? It's a box. Presumably to be pushed. You. Monster to preach and makes puzzles great. Nowadays, the puzzles bad. There's no art in that auctionary. Mindless schnock. It's just Tommy based dribble. Give me something that challenges the deepest reaches of my mind. You, you're young. You still got hope. Get, 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 get. Here, try solving this block pushing puzzle. Okay, maybe later. Yeah, we we still we we have a couple of enemy encounters to do too. Some of these flowers say, you hear a passing conversation. Of course I won't laugh. Okay, they, they are dimming out a little bit. Encounter yet? I haven't even seen Flowey yet either. At least the game doesn't make you backtrack that much. It's pretty cool. Alrighty then. Undyne's house over this way. Hi, Papyrus. Oh, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. We have sure. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one training? You best, you bet I am, and I brought a friend. Hi, I, I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? Oh, this is great. Nice house. Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you. On her, on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> so, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie. I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Oh. Then why are you here? Hmm. Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Yes. Really? How delightful! I accept! Let's all frolic in the field of friendship! Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought I'd die would be friends with you. But I guess... I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. 
Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. Things he can't be friends with you. <laughs> what a joke. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. <laughs> Why don't you have a seat? Sit down and progress. Top triple? <laughs> I get you something to drink. This is so awesome. All set. What would you like? Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Aim with arrows and select the C. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait, I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. <laughs> Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Tea? Huh? Coming right up. Undying is funny. <laughs> It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. <laughs> hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, um, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak, he's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That, that's, that's part of why. I started teaching him how to cook, you know? Oh. So, uh, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. <laughs> Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now, and he's not here to have it. You'll have to have it inform him. That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking, which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you ever imagined. 
<laughs> afraid. You're gonna be. We're, we're gonna be best friends. Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. Will you pound now? Strong. You punch a vegetable in full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah. Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah. Damn. Uh, well, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. <laughs> but for now... We got the noodles! Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the creepest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just put them in the pot. Fiercely, you throw everything into the pot as hard as you can. Including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah, I'm, I'm into it. All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. General rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. That's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right to turn up the heat. Okay. Hotter. 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 Undying. Undying. Um, undying. Nice job, Undyne. Uh, man, no wonder why she sucks at cooking. Yeah, you kind of got a little into it. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Uh, oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me, and if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because, if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Yeah. That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't master any intent to hurt me, huh? Heh. <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid s s s s saccharine stick, but... The way you hit me right now, it... Reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgar are fated to fight, but knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go, go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take Bitter Soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls across, across the barrier and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Whew. Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Oh, that was so adorable. Well, that was fun, huh? <laughs> we have to hang out again for another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk, too. Well, see you later. Punk. That was awesome. That was freaking awesome. All right, we're gonna we're gonna keep going uh, to the right and uh, well, do we have gold? I want to see if I can buy something. Twenty four gold. Eh. Yeah. All right. 
Be careful out there, kid. <laughs> Ooh, I don't have a lot. Alright, back we go. That was actually pretty... That was pretty heartwarming, actually. Very great riding. So now we're friends with Undyne. The way it's supposed to be. Where's the enemy encounters? I really like the music. Oops. Yeah, we're still gonna... Still no enemies? Holy mackerel, where are they? Oh well. So what are you waiting for? What? What are you doing? You're pushing it all wrong. Bah! Forget it. This generation is really hopeless. Wow, what a dickhole. I'm just saying, what a dickhole. Alright, getting into hot land. Hot land territory. Alright, this has been Tolgai 2, and I will see you for the next part of Let's Play Undertale Pacifist. See you then.